Well, now, Mr. Popperov, to be fair, them boys you sent should have been more careful. I mean, they saw I had the Vindicator belts loaded with the XX ammunition, sir. I'm sure their hearing will be back soon, but if and it'll make things better, I'll send them all some cookies to say sorry. Oh, did you like my new tracksuit? The lady what sold it to me said the yellow stripes are real classy and go with the shiny purple color all over the rest. To, uh, hello, Mr. Mr. Popperov. Welcome back, y'all. I'm Gator, and this is the Fourth Estate Militia News Broadcast Program. The last time I done talked to y'all, we was talking about some rail runners what did that job with the IPDS armor penetrator ammunition and them fragmentable grenades. Guess what? They done striked again. At least, I mean, well, I think it was them what striked it. Struck again? Dang. Heck is that word? Now, I'm not one for thinking there are that many vampires in Seattle. So maybe this ain't some Vatican-approved hit squad, but I am still doubtful that they was just a few regular runners what got roped into some supernatural dreck. I ain't the only one thinking something weird was going on, because that orc girl reporter Elvira Searching Bear herself done covered this event. According to her, this clean slate pest control company was a-working all over the place. The thing is, they wasn't just some cockroach smooshers. Miss Elvira Bear done discovered that they was killing a different type of pest, the kind what ain't got no sin. So I heard this and did a little bit of homework on my own, and I found out that these drag holes were taking contracts from that rich Bellevue crowd what was speculating on real estate. That bothers me on a few levels, namely because, because of that bear in St. Sunshine. <laughs> See... Sunshine done let herself get all crazy and stankin' to high heaven cause she was helping them sinless folk out that way. I can only imagine what rancid hail that woman would have brought had she still been around. Enough of making old gator teary eyed you dang frag holes. I was saying, these idiots was killing off the sinless so them hoop lickers and Bellevue could buy up them properties cheap. Well, this team don't get hired. Maybe by the Vatican Gator don't know yet. But they get hired to off these slime balls. They set up an ambush by this old parking garage type of place what ain't been used in at least a couple of decades. Now I done saw the video and could not believe my eyeballs. So I fired the truck up, put the Doberman in the back, went out to Puyallup to see it myself. There was a bulldog van what done got impregnated in the side by a big old garbage truck straight into a wall. I ain't saying that there might be a particular hacker girl out there what has a reputation for this, but I also ain't not saying that there might be a particular hacker girl out there what has a reputation for this. Now the other car, what was part of them pest control people, was done half melted into slag. It looked like someone took the tallest troll in the sprawl, made him the fattest feller whatever been, and done yanked his bones out his skin. Just a blubbery pile of jiggling, except, I mean, except it was a car and not a troll what ain't got no bones. But there was a bunch of scavers creeping around, trying to find something to steal once them K.E. fellers done left. Being a social sort, I'd talked to a few of them, and I done found me a witness. Listen up of what he done say happened. Cars crashed and they had guns and they they would pew 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 pew. Then I saw it. They went boom. Pretty cut and dried right there, chummers. That's enough news for now, y'all. I'm Gator, and I best not catch any of y'all hunting down them seamless folk. The Tops Company, Inc. has sole ownership of the names, logo, artwork, marks, photographs, sounds, audio, video, and or any proprietary material used in connection with the game Shadowrun. The Tops Company, Inc. has granted permission to the 4th Estate Militia Podcast to use such names, logos, artwork, marks, and or proprietary materials for promotional and informational purposes on his website, 
but does not endorse and is not affiliated with the Fourth Estate Militia podcast in any official capacity whatsoever. All other works mentioned in this podcast are the property of their respective owners. Original content of the Fourth Estate Militia podcast is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution 4.0 license. So if you use any part of the show, please give us credit.